The United States of America, to all who shall see these presents. This is to certify that the President of the United States of America has awarded the Purple Heart, established by General George Washington at Newburgh, New York, August 7, 1782. Mayor McKenna, who commissioned the work back in 1959, he said, you know, as long as these walls will stand, they'll serve as a remembrance for uh, the people that made the ultimate sacrifice. So this building, by nature, was set up to be a memorial for the veterans. We're able to honor all our Purple Heart recipients, along with all our veterans here at this building, and uh, it means something special to a lot of people. And it's, it's an honor to be recognized. It means quite a bit to have something dedicated to the military order with Purple Heart. There's a lot of proud veterans out there. There's a lot of veterans with Purple Hearts. We should be so grateful for, for them because without them, um, none of this would be possible. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to say where we'd be at without, without people like that. They have provided so much for us to be able to do this. That it's just an honor to give them some more recognition. Two specialists fourth class, Jack A. Rising, United States Army. To Major Richard G. Redman, for wounds received in action in the country of Afghanistan. To Private First Class, Joseph A. Rasatano. For wounds received in action in Vietnam. In the province of Ghazni, 28 April, 2008. For wounds received in action during World War II.